Standard 7th Subject Maths Chapter 1 Geometrical Constructions Practice Set 4 Dear students, in the previous practice set, you have learnt how to construct a triangle given two sides and the angle included by them. Now in this practice set, you are going to learn to construct a triangle given two angles and the included side. So let's have a look at this example here. Construct triangle XYZ such that yx is equal to 6 cm. Since only one side is given, that side will form the base. And accordingly, the two other angles will be shown in the figure. So angle ZXY is 30 degree. So you can see in the rough figure 30 degree angle ZXY. And major angle XYZ is 100 degree. So accordingly, construct an op obtuse angle for XYZ which is 100 degree and then complete the rough figure. So you have to just draw a estimated rough figure not exactly the measurements using a protractor no a rough figure. Now when we start a construction we get an idea as to which segments or which points will be located in which place. So we see yx as a base so we always start constructing a triangle with the base first. So let's start with the steps. First you will take point y and extend it to 6 cm using a scale mark a point at 6 cm exactly see that you keep your scale steady straight and mark 6 cm line this forms our segment y x ok once you have drawn seg y x next we are going to write its measurement which is 6 cm. This forms our base. So according to the rough figure draw seg yx as base of length 6 cm. Second step is draw ray yr such that measure of angle xyr is equal to 100 degree. So as in the rough figure we see angle y 100 degree so with the help of protractor we draw an obtuse angle triangle angle here 100 is an obtuse angle so accordingly draw a obtuse angle which measures 100 degree now on the same side of seg yx as point r draw seg xd so that major angle yxd will be 30 degree name the point of intersection of seg yr and xd as z so we take first 30 degree measurement for angle X which is also angle Y X D using three letters. So we construct angle X as 30 degree and we got a point of intersection. This point of X intersection will be named as point Z. So let's write the measurement of angles first. Angle Y is 100 degree. Angle X is 30 degree as given in the question and the point of intersection is a point Z so you will see that it matches with a rough figure angle Z by X is 100 degree it also matches with the question and angle Z X Y is 30 degree and base Y X is 6 centimeter so this way you are going to construct triangles in practice in this particular practice set where two angles will be given and one side will be given so let's begin with our practice set number four question number one you have to construct the triangles of the majors given below here so in question one we have triangle sat where length 80 is given as 6.54 centimeter so that will form a base. Here we get a clue directly. One segment is only given the measurement. So we take it as a base. Then the other two angles. Angle A is 45. Angle T is 105 degree. So accordingly we show 45 degree acute angle. 105 degree obtuse angle. And we complete our rough sketch. Now let's begin the construction. First we draw segment 80 6.4 cm in measure. So with the help of a scale from 0 extend 
till exact 6.4 and name it as seg 80. Take the points and name it 80 which is 6.4 centimeter. Now time to draw the angles. So use a protractor always to draw a angle. So major angle A is 45 degree acute angle. So start from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So take properly the line should coincide. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 and 45. Between 40 and 50 is 45 degree angle. So now we mark our ray A which extends further. We will not name it right now. We will name that point after we get the point of intersection from T. So this angle is 45 degree. What about angle T? It is 105 degree. So let's take the protractor. And remember students, 105 means it's an obtuse angle, more than 90. So accordingly you will check the base, whether it coincides with the protractor properly and start on the outer edge. 100, 105, obtuse angle. So accordingly, from between 100 and 110, we have 105. With the help of a scale, join this point to point T. And you will extend the arc. So this way, I am extending the arc. The Both the points have not intersected. So we will further extend the arc or the ray from point A so that the both the points will intersect. So further on further extending from point A, I have to further extend from point T as well. You will see this becomes a little bit bigger triangle. So remember in your notebooks when you are drawing it, take sec AT right below leaving sufficient lines so that your figure comes exactly in the center. Mark this point of intersection as point S and your triangle is ready, triangle SAT with the given information as per the question. AT 6.4 cm, angle A 45 degree and angle T 105 degree. Question number 2. In triangle MNP, we have NP is equal to 5.2 cm. Major angle N is 70 degree and major angle P is 40 degree. So let's begin. First complete your rough figure as shown here. The base is 5.2 and its name is NP. So you can write N, P here or N you can take this side and P this side. Whichever side you want. But see that you match the angles also properly. If you take N this side then angle N is 70. So 70 degree will come here. It doesn't matter. As far as you are showing the perfect measurements, you can draw the angle or the triangle as per the side that you want. So let's begin as per the rough figure drawn here. Tn is 5.2. So I take point P first. And with the scale, we are going to mark Pn as 5.2 centimeter. So from 5, two more lines. And we mark 5.2 seg pn. Write the measurement 5.2 centimeter. Now it's time to use the protractor. So keep the protractor steady on point P and see that it intersects with the base properly. Mark 40 degree, which is an acute angle, and extend the ray. Mark the arrow and mark the angle as 40 degree. Angle P is given in the question as 40 degree. Next angle N we have to mark. So keep the protractor at point N and mark angle N as 70 degree. It's an acute angle. So take care that you mark the proper angles. Join the point to form a ray. Now we get a point of intersection which will be named as point M. So N is 70 degree and point M we mention on top. So we get a triangle, triangle M N P.
okay as i mentioned earlier 70 degree angle could be towards the left and 40 could be towards the right if you choose to name accordingly next question number three in triangle efg eg is equal to six centimeter and major angle f is equal to 65 degree major angle g is equal to 45 degree now first as i mentioned to you earlier seg eg will be taken as the base as 6 cm since only one side is given we take it strictly compulsory as the base once we take eg as 6 cm in this rough figure you can see we name major angle f is given as 65 but we have f on the top so okay we write 65 for angle f then major angle g is given as 45 degree so here we get on the right hand side angle g is 45 degree but to construct the triangle we need the measurement of angle e so the solution you can see here in triangle efg we know that all the three angles measure 180 degree this we have already learned that sum of the measures of angles of a triangle is 180 degree so measure angle e plus measure angle f plus measure angle g is equal to 180 degree we don't know major angle E as yet. So we keep major angle E as it is and we add the other angles which comes to 110 degree. 110 degree when we shift or subtract from 180 we get 70 degree. So we get major angle E as 70 degree here. Once you get the measurement of angle E we can start the construction of triangle. So here we have little working to do before we start the construction. You have to find measurement of angle e now let's begin the construction first we take point e and we extend it to 6 cm to form segment eg so mark point g at exactly 6 cm draw the line and name the point which you have taken from 0 to 6 as point g eg is 6 cm now we will start with the marking of angle 70 degree has to be marked from point e so keep the protractor accordingly and mark 70 degree with the help of the scale extend the ray properly let it meet point e okay like this and mark the arrow to show that it is a ray next Take the protractor again and mark from G 45 degree which is also an obtuse angle, acute angle sorry. It is an acute angle. So we will mark in the interior 45 degree. So after 40, 5 points 45. Extend the ray from G to meet the ray which is from E and mark the arrowhead now we have angle E 70 degree, angle G 45 degree and angle F which was given in the question already if you check will be exactly 65 degree. So we have used the information to find angle E and accordingly we have constructed the triangle EFG. Okay, so this way we have completed our question number 3. Now let's move on to question number 4. In triangle XYZ, XY is equal to 7.3 cm. So we take it as a base. And the other two angles adjoining it. And then we complete our rough figure. Accordingly, we will start the construction. We will draw XY exactly 7.3 cm with the help of a scale. So keep the zero mark at point x and take 7.3 and mark a line till that point and name that point as y xy is 7.3 centimeter now as you see in the rough figure angle x is given 34 degree so we place the protractor in such a way that the point comes exactly on x and it merges perfectly with the seg xy 30 and 4 more lines 34 so this way we mark 34 degree angle 
and we extend the ray from point x. Mark the arrowhead. Now we shall mark from point y. This is 34 degree. Let's see from point y it is 95 degree. Or obtuse more than 90. So keeping the protractor center at point y from 95 more. So 95 an obtuse angle. And with the help of the scale we are going to join this point to y. Extend the ray in such a way that both the rays should intersect. So let's extend from X as well. So with the help of the scale, we have to extend it further. Keep the proper distance. And yes, we got the point of intersection now. So if you don't get the point of intersection, no need to worry. Anytime you can extend the rays. So this is point Z. And angle Y is 95 degrees. We have completed a question number 4, triangle XYZ as per the given measurements. Hope you have understood this practice set. Do practice it well in your book. Stay safe, keep learning and thank you.